So what I'm simply going to do is clench my fist down and just start to work this gauze into that clenched fist. I can do that with my finger, I can do it with my thumb. One thing that you'll hear people talk about is packing in all directions, not just stuffing down, always curling to one side or the other, but making sure you're pushing into a lot of different directions. So we're pushing this in. Again, I can pack with the thumb, I can pack with the finger, and my fist is still clenched. I'm still holding this very, very tightly as I push in, trying to fill all the nooks and crannies between my fingers, inside the knuckles, pushing in. And this is something you can see I'm exerting some effort here. That's really what we want to do. We want this to be very hard inside of the wound, packing as much material as we can in there. And you can see I'm creating space by hitting different angles, pushing in in a star pattern or pushing in in a circular pattern, maybe opposite and then crossing as I'm packing this wound, packing this material down in, again, to stop the blood, to get as much pressure as we can inside so that the blood isn't coming out. Continuing to pack. When it really starts to get hard at the top, and you can see I'm still clenching my fist closed here. Not really much movement on the fingers. Let's take a look. That's, that's pretty good. That's a lot of material packed in there, and obviously we still have some material left. Larger wound, we might be able to get more into it. But as I open up my fist, you're going to see just how much material was inside of that fully clenched fist. So packing a wound doesn't just mean simply covering up the top and hoping that's good enough and maybe wrapping around or putting a bandage over it. We really want to stuff as much material as we can into the wound to create that clot, to create the area for the blood to stop coming out of the body, stay in, and push against all of those torn and open vessels on the inside of the wound.